So guys, we got a couple uh, new stories to run through in this video, and if you didn't see my last video, the reason I'm talking funny, I just had all my bottom teeth removed so that I can have a dental procedure to get uh, either some implants or some dentures. Man, that's coming up in about three, four weeks. So until then, it's going to sound messed up like this, but uh, anyways, uh, we got some big news, man, and I know that most of you guys, 99% of you guys have probably already heard about the first um, thing that I'm going to talk about, so I'm not going to give all the details because you already heard it, but EpiG Duck, you know, his uh, his supposed alleged killers have been caught by the feds and this is the feds okay it's not just cpd so it's a whole different ball game man you know they got uh, different tools they got different laws but so epig duck you know everybody when that first happened okay was blaming other gangs okay who i don't even need the name and they were starting all types of fake rumors okay now as somebody who started fake rumors myself i can't really you know be a hypocrite and you know hate on them for that but uh, it just goes to show that what makes sense, okay, isn't always what actually happened. People were blaming, you guys know who they were blaming, okay? If you were in tune back then, and if you weren't in tune, you don't need to be in tune now because they were blaming the wrong people. So allegedly, you know, the cops got the, uh, the, the right guys now. And the one guy who it doesn't make sense to me, I'm going to be honest with you, is a C murder. That one really came out of left field for me, man, because he's like a grown, he's really grown now with a family and stuff like that. I find it very hard to believe that he was on that hit. Uh, he may, have, they may not be charging him with actually being on the hit. I don't know what exactly the situation is with him. Uh, for the rest of them, you know, uh, the one I want to talk about in spe specifically is Zell, because all types of rumors are starting up now about him. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly where these rumors originated they originated from fans okay and the rumors are about him snitching and you know th this is all made up okay it's all made up there's zero paperwork on him none okay he didn't snitch to nobody he didn't tell the cops he didn't get on papers none of that the fact that he committed suicide allegedly committed suicide we actually don't know the real situation what exactly happened man uh and having you know been very close to people who were accused of committing suicide as well i'm very hesitant to make that accusation that he did that to himself so um you know there's all type of rumors now you know saying he was doing this he was doing that and it's all made up these are all fans bro there's no paperwork on him okay and we've learned okay we should have learned our lesson i'm talking me i'm talking all the fans i'm talking all the bloggers everybody we should have learned in the past because this situation has come up before with people who i don't need to name if there's no paperwork okay if there's no official paperwork out there it's not it's not a fact it's just not you know what i'm saying so yeah there's zero evidence from any credible source that he snitched okay and as for the rest of the guys man you know mama duck was uh was talking about the details but i'm gonna say this too with her you know i i don't want to like sound disrespectful towards a, a mom that's grieving she's not like a gang member or anything like that but if you if you've paid attention to you know this whole saga from the beginning okay like that's her son and brick was her son okay and i mean she's on that side okay when it comes to like arguing with them and stuff like that and she's had back and forth with the bds before so you know the way she tells it is going to be from that perspective you see what i'm saying it's like getting it from one of those gang members perspective you know it's like you wouldn't take anything the bds say about the gds to just be like straight up fact you know what i mean it's like the same thing so whatever she's saying about them I'm telling you right now, the only the only source you can take any of this from is fact is the cops, the cops and the FBI. Anything that they don't release is not fact. So, yeah, but they did, you know, officially charge those guys because it was written up in the papers, you know, coming from the police. So, yeah, C-Thing, Zell, uh, C-Murda, Muop. Um, the Muop one, you know, his uh, he seemed like he was starting up a rap career. But But everything that people were saying about those other gangs, this didn't come as a surprise to nobody. That's Duck's, those are Duck's rivals. Those are his enemies. You know what I'm saying? O Block is their main enemies. When Brick got killed, okay, the first thing that I remember hearing on the CPD scanner was watch out for retaliation in the Parkway Gardens housing complex. That was the first thing I remember. This is before any investigation, before anything. Okay, as soon as Brick died, CPD was getting on the radios talking about wait for retaliation in Parkway Gardens. So they immediately, okay, went to O Block. You see what I'm saying? That's the that's their beef. Those, those are their main ops. I know they got other ops, but man, no ops are like O Block. That's like, you know, they're arch enemies. So it's not a surprise, man. You know, so for everybody 
painting all these conspiracy theories about all these other gangs and backdoors and this and that. No, man. It's just regular stuff. This is the regular stuff that happens in Chicago every day. Allegedly, okay. We'll see if it, you know, comes out in the end. Because, again, the C-Murder one is a little fishy to me. So, I don't know, you know, if, this, if CPD has all their loose ends tied up with that. But, I don't know. We'll see what happens, man. Anyways, rest in peace to FPG Duck, man. And, like I said, all these fake rumors the fans were starting up, man. Learn from the past, okay. The bloggers and, you know, like I said, I've done this too. So, you know. Guys making the same mistakes I made, starting up fake rumors about that other gang they were blaming, okay? And then the fans now blaming Zell for doing this and that. Nah, it's all fake. It's all fake, man. These are all just internet rumors. So anyways, man, moving on to another story that is extremely important. Uh, we've had an arrest in the murder of the seven-year-old girl and the attempted murder of her younger sister, her younger six-year-old sister that happened on the north side by that park, by Reese Park that I was going live at last summer uh, a lot over there. It's like a, it's like a maniac Latin disciple na neighborhood, actually. It's like a Mexican neighborhood predominantly, but uh, there are some other ethnicities around there. Obviously, I was around there, and I'm not Mexican, but uh, Chicago police announced murder charges against a 24-year-old man Wednesday night in the August shooting that killed a 7-year-old named Serenity Broughton and injured her 6-year-old sister, Aubrey. Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown said, said a 24-year-old guy named Arion has been charged with murder and attempted murder in the shooting. He was arrested Wednesday out in the suburbs after he was identified as one of the two gunmen responsible for the shooting. So there's uh, allegedly another one. Uh, the chief of police said these charges are the beginning, we hope, of bringing some measure of closure to the grieving family of these two innocent little girls who were sitting in a parked car when they were struck by gunfire. The charges come one month after Cook County prosecutors declined charges against him uh, after he'd been taken into custody in September. So if you guys remember, the cops arrested this guy and uh, prosecutors would not charge him. At the time, prosecutors said that there was not sufficient evidence for the charges. Police did not provide specifics on what new evidence helped them secure the charges now, but they said what's changed is that we worked with the state's attorney's office to be sure that we did a thorough and complete investigation and we worked together to get the defendants charged, uh, according to the chief of detectives, Brendan Dinahan. And in my personal opinion, man, they need to they need to have some way to hold these guys until they get the evidence. You cannot let guys who kill kids back out of the street, man. You just can't. You know what I mean? Even guys who are, like, suspected of doing it, if there's any possibility that they killed this kid, you know, you've got to have a way to hold these guys. You know, they have to do something about that, man, because you can't put these kids' lives at risk. But he said the police are asking for the public's help finding a second gunman and the getaway driver involved in the shooting. So detectives have yet to identify those two suspects. He said that we believe that the public knows... These two individuals who are, who are probably associated with this guy, the, the cops said, we're hopeful, uh, we're hopefully certain that these guys have talked to somebody, have bragged about it, and somebody knows. So acknowledging that potential witnesses could be afraid to come forward, the cops uh, said that uh, you can provide tips anonymously at cbdtip.com. So Serenity and Aubrey were shot on Sunday, August 15th in the 6200 block of West Grand Avenue in the Belmont Cragen neighborhood which is a predominantly Hispanic neighborhood. Uh, this guy appears to be black. He's pretty light-skinned, though. He could be mixed black and white or something like that, mixed black and Hispanic. I don't know. The The little girl, she was very light-skinned, too. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, um, she was not the intended target by this guy. Uh, but at least not allegedly. I hope not. But, uh, yeah, that was, uh, you know, an unfortunate consequence of the violence that goes on in Chicago every day. You know what I mean? So, yeah, Belmont Craig, and it's seeing that, too. So the cops said the girls and their mother and father were getting them into the back seat of their car when three people in another vehicle pulled up into a nearby alley. Two of them got out and started shooting in the direction of the family's car. The shooters then got back into their vehicle and fled the scene. Police said they believe the shooters were targeting a relative. Serenity was shot in the chest and torso and was, pr and was pronounced dead at the hospital. Aubrey was shot in the chest and right armpit, uh, has a pierced lung, and was being treated at the hospital. So the girl's mother was getting them into the back seat of the car when the shots rang out. The girl's paternal grandmother told reporters that her son was on the driver's side of the car while the mother had just finished buckling Aubrey in. At that point, the shots rang out and Serenity was lifeless. So anyways, uh, yeah, this is uh, what's going on right now in Chicago, man. You know all these uh, crossfire deaths of kids and stuff, man? Uh, this is a common thing and it's why you know it's very important for the prosecutors to do their thing and come with it and keep these guys in there at least till they can, you know, determine 100% the guy's innocent. But, you know, I mean, in, in most of these cases, bro, you know, you, the guy's got to be off the street, period, you know, just, especially when, when kids are the victims, man, and the guys are doing stuff like this, 
There's just no way that these prosecutors can keep on letting these guys out. Rest in peace to Serenity and get well soon to little Aubrey. And rest in peace to Epi G. Duck. It's your boy Winnie City Report. I'm out.